Bonjour once again. The heat for Emily in Paris season two has not yet gone down, and fans are getting wilder and wilder as they ride with Emily Cooper in a Parisian roller coaster ride. After leaving fans on a major cliffhanger last year, the comedy drama's second season will see Emily deal with the aftermath of her sleeping with Gabriel, her chef neighbor, and the ex boyfriend of her best friend Camille. Season two of Emily in Paris showcased a return of the original cast, including Lily Collins as Emily Cooper, of course, Philippine Leroy Bellew as Sylvie, Ashley Park as Mindy, Lucas Bravo as Gabrielle, Samuel Arnold as Julian, Bruno Goury as Luke, Camille Rosanne as Camille, and William Abadi as Antoine. But since the release of season two on December 22nd, fans are rambling, going wild as they feast on the new cast ensemble's fiery faces and bodies. There are hashtag Team Gabriel, and the former members of this team have somehow shifted their attention to the newcomer, creating a whole new band of hashtag Team Alfie supporters. Well, who can blame them? Alfie is indeed one of a kind. Seeing this oh-so-gorgeous list of cast, we can't help but dig deeper into their lives, start stalking, and find out what their real ages are and who they're sharing their lives with currently. Well, if you're anything like us, you just can't resist searching everything about our favorite Emily in Paris cast. Pure in luck. Because in today's video, we'll be talking about Emily in Paris's cast, real life ages, and partners. But before that, make sure to subscribe first and hit that notification bell for more updates. Now, let's start stalking. Lily Collins, aka Emily Cooper. When Emily in Paris season one came out last year, Lily Collins was already committed to her writer and director boyfriend, Charlie McDowell. But just this 2021, before Emily in Paris season two came out, they finally tied the knot. Lily announced her engagement to McDowell in September 2020 after more than one year together. On Instagram, the Emily in Paris actor shared pictures from her Colorado wedding with director Charlie McDowell. She wore a long-sleeved, hooded lace gown by Ralph Lauren. It's one of the few wedding dresses the brand has designed, along with Priyanka Chopra's. I've never wanted to be someone's someone more than I do yours, and now I get to be your wife. On September 4th, 2021, we officially became each other's forever. I love you beyond, Collins captioned one image. Another photo showed Collins in her hooded white veil, McDowell holding her face in his hands, never been happier, she wrote. Aw, now isn't that sweet? Lily had just turned 30 when the series first started filming back in August 2019. Now she's 32. Still stunning for a 32-year-old woman in Paris, I say. Lucas Bravo, a.k.a. Gabriel. Lucas Bravo may play Lily Collins' love interest in Emily in Paris, but who is he dating in real life? Fans of the addictive show have been obsessed with the French actor model who portrays handsome chef Gabriel ever since the Netflix original series was released in 2020. And now, almost a year since its debut, we've finally gotten Emily in Paris season two, which unsurprisingly has sparked interest in the 33-year-old hottie's love life once more. Fans of Emily in Paris, and in particular fans of Lucas, will be happy to learn that the actor is thought to be single. Lucas Bravo has not released an official update on his relationship status, nor has he made any previous comments to suggest he's in a relationship. So we're fair to assume that he is indeed single. Lucien Laviscount, a.k.a. Alfie. Who is Alfie? Alfie is the latest addition to the Emily in Paris cast, and he plays a businessman from London temporarily working in Paris who meets Emily in French class. British actor Lucien Laviscount rose to fame after playing Jake Briggs in Grange Hill and Jonah Kirby in Waterloo Road. He went on to appear on Celebrity Big Brother, Death in Paradise, Episodes, and Snatch before taking on roles in the U.S. shows such as Scream Queens, Katie Keene, and Still Star Crossed. If you take a look at Google right now and type his name, the very first to pop up will be Lucien Lavenscount's girlfriend. Well, it's quite understandable why. Tall, dark, handsome, and most importantly, British. This guy really has it all. Well, for those of you ladies drooling over him, just as you do over Lucas Bravo, then you two are in luck. Lucien Laviscount is currently single and has no partner as of January 2022. Because Lucien rarely discusses his relationships on social media, it's difficult to say who he's dating at any given time. His Instagram validates our suspicions as he appears in none of his breathtaking images with a partner. He could, on the other hand, be the type of person who loves to keep his love life private and, on the other hand, have a particular lady at his side. However, Lucien kind of had a roller coaster history of relationships. 
At the start of his career, Lucien reportedly dated model and Big Brother star Sophie Reed. Then he dated his Waterloo Road co-star Chelsea Healy, and he has been spotted on a date with Little Mix's Leanne Pinnock in 2012. He was then rumored to be with British actor Brooke Vincent before being linked with his Screen Queens co-star Kiki Palmer. Lucien was also once seen with Kelly Osbourne, and in November 2021, people thought he was dating another Little Mix star, Jesse Nelson. So even though Lucien is single as of late, he's pretty sure to find a partner early this year. Kevin Diaz, a.k.a. Benoit. Emily in Paris has always been known for its bright fashions, luxury settings, and romantic drama, but season two added something even more exciting to the mix, music. Although fans got to hear Emily's BFF Mindy sing a few times in season one, she really put on a show in second season, and a lot of that is thanks to her newfound collaborator, Benoit. French actor Kevin Diaz has become the center of attention since making his romantic appearance in Netflix Emily in Paris. In season two, this stunning musician made his landing in the character of guitarist Benoit, who first invited Mindy to sing for his band on Roadside. Kevin was born on November 15, 1991, which makes him 30 years old today. Is it just me or does everybody in this age bracket look their best? On one hand, Emily in Paris season 2 actor Kevin Diaz has appeared in a romantic style with Mindy, but in real life, he's the father of a two-year-old son named Milo from his beautiful wife, Margot Milani. The first couple appeared together in 2017. After that, they started spending a lot of time together. As a result, they welcomed their first kid in April 2019. Soren Brigendel, a.k.a. Eric. In Emily in Paris Season 2, Eric's character is introduced. Eric is a photographer who takes an interest in Sylvie, played by the ever-gorgeous Soren Brigendel. Danish actor and singer Soren Brigendel is best known for appearing in the drama 2900 Happiness and films such as The Reunion, Father of Four, Living Large, and Rich Kids. In 2016, he represented Denmark in the Eurovision Song Contest as part of the group Lighthouse X. Although it doesn't seem like it, because he's such a good-looking guy in the series, Soren is actually 38 years old. There isn't much to know about his love life, though, so we're assuming that's either he's just very private about his life, or he's just another single actor to add to your list. William Abadi, a.k.a. Antoine The character of Antoine is not necessarily new to the world of Emily in Paris, but audiences can expect to see a lot more of him in season two. Antoine Lambert is one of Emily's most famous clients who has invested in Gabriel's new Paris restaurant. William is currently 44 years old, and if you have a thing for men in his age bracket, then you're in luck because it's rumored that his matinee idol is currently not dating anyone. William Abadi might have gotten married, but he has not disclosed the name of his wife, and he's not been dating anyone at the present time. He also has said that he's not rushing in to find anyone at the time being, but given his sweep-you-off-your-feet appearance, we have highly doubt that. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to watch our video regarding Emily in Paris Season 3. And also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more.